Hi, this is David from Open the Portal. I'm here with Amy Adamy, a stop motion animator who's worked on films from James and the Giant Peach to Coraline to The Life Aquatic. She's here to tell us the story of one of the most legendary shots from Coraline. You can see after all the credits of the film, it's one of the most complicated, beautiful, and jaw-dropping shots I've ever seen in stop motion. Amy's talking to us from Portland right now. Amy, how are you doing? Thanks. Hey! I'll rewind to when I saw Coraline. I always stayed after the credits and this really astounding unfolding ribbon mouse thing happened at the end and I had no clue what it was, why it wasn't in the movie, what was going on there. What was the initial idea behind this shot? If you read the book, there's um, these ghost mice that come out and they talk to Coraline. And so that's what it was supposed to be, it was this like otherworldly thing coming into the real world. The song is actually in the book. After all is said and done, like we get it finished, and then it was all cut out. It was slightly traumatic. How I mean, long? there were days that took like a whole day to do one frame. They check on me three times a day too, they're like, what's your frame count? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you. There were days where I would cry on my way to work because I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> but then there were other days I was like, I can't believe someone's paying me to do this. Like, this is amazing, you know. When I was finished, Henry came out and he saw it and he jumped up and down and he was like, yes! How did they tell you that uh, it wasn't going to be in the movie? That was actually scary. I thought I was getting fired. You go into edit, and um, and then Henry's like, everybody out of here, I have to talk to Amy. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what did I do now? But then he was just like, I'm really sorry. You know, I know you worked really hard. You know, was, he was really apologetic, and he was just, just, and I had no idea they were going to put it at the end of the show until I saw it in the theater. So they never told you, and you just, so no. you, you thought this thing that you put your yeah, whole life energy forever. into... Yeah was gone. It's kind of like I was relieved I wasn't fired. <laughs> <laughs> Does that shot ever come up? Has Is it ever referenced on new projects you've worked on? I get typecast a lot. Like they're like, oh, Amy can do the weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to ask you to relive the trauma of that at all. I am so happy that, that it ended up in the credits because it deserves to be there. And I think that was a big part of how we became even better friends and bonded over hearing this story. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your experience. Best of luck on the project that you're working on now. And thank you all for tuning in and happy animating.